Hello there, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. Today, I have a layout for you that I made using the August My Creative Scrapbook Limited Edition Kit. No matter what kit or collection that I'm using, I always add some die cuts. I usually add floral die cuts. For summer layouts, I like to add tropical leaves, even if I'm not scrapbooking a tropical place. And another die cut that I like to use is coral and I'm using both on this layout. I don't know the manufacturer of the coral dies because I've had those in my stash for so long, but the tropical leaves are from a Spellbinders set called Tropical Paradise. I cut all the die cuts out of 80 pound white cardstock and I wanna add some color to the die cuts, so I'm using some Distress Oxides. I'm using Cracked Pistachio, Evergreen Bow, and Shabby Shutters. In order to make the leaves more interesting, I want there to be a lot of variation in color. So I cover the whole leaf with the lightest color, which is the shabby shutters. Then I'm inking in the general area of the edge of the leaf with some cracked pistachio, which is darker than the shabby shutters. And then finally I go in with the darkest color, which is the evergreen bow. And I try to just get at the very edges of the leaves with the darkest color. Now, I like the way the leaves are looking, but I felt that they were missing a little something. So I grabbed my Distress ink in Vintage Photo, and I'm inking just the very edges of all the leaves and the coral as well with a little bit of this very dark ink. And I think that that adds more contrast and makes the leaves look a little more interesting. I was also thinking that I wanted to add a little bit more yellow to the leaves, so I used some scattered straw and I just added a little bit of yellow mainly to the centers. I continued adding some layers of color to the leaves and the coral, and off camera I made a number of coral pieces in a peach color, and I used the same kind of approach where I used a lot of different colors and layered them on top of each other, and you'll see those in a little bit when I start assembling the layout. These very small frames were in the ephemera pack of the kit. There were quite a few of them. So it gave me the idea to make a layout that had a whole bunch of small frames on it. There are striped frames and there are solid colored frames. I'm going to use the striped frames for my photos and I'm going to use the solid frames as embellishments. And in some cases I put embellishments inside the frames. Here I'm inking the edges of all the frames that I'm going to use. And I'm also inking the edges of a number of die cuts that I thought would look nice on the layout, including a title and some seashells and some other images. The photos are very small. They're about two inches by two inches. And I printed them on my Canon selfie so that I could make them the right size for the frames. They're all different images, even though they look very similar. And they're photos of my younger daughter. And at the time she was doing gymnastics, <laughs> pretty much around the clock. She was on a team that practiced for hours a day and she was on a private team. She was on the school team and she was just living and breathing gymnastics. So when we went to the beach, of course, she started doing her floor routine or at least part of it uh, on the beach. And at the time it was just standard for Julia to just break out into doing gymnastics anytime that she had the opportunity. But now that she's older, she doesn't do gymnastics anymore. And her doing this is a, a good memory and I'm glad I have these photos. In the kit, there were two sheets of pattern paper that were from a different collection. It is a Simple Stories collection called Simple Vintage Coastal. It's a really beautiful collection and it goes well with the 49 and Market collection. I like the way this sheet of paper is very neutral. So I'm picking out the spots in the pattern paper that I thought would look best backing the frames. And I'm lining up all the frames and attaching down these small squares of paper behind them. I really don't like the photos to be flimsy. So I often like to back them with some thick cardstock. So here I'm taking each of the frames that has a photo in it and I'm putting some 120 pound cardstock behind it. Once each of the photos is backed with some cardstock, I begin arranging all of the elements on the layout. The background pattern paper is a piece of the 49 and market paper. And I know that I wanna have the frames in a diagonal direction from 
the top left to the bottom right, and the frames that don't have photos in them become layers or embellishments that are behind the photos. To make the photos stand out a little bit, I pop them up on some fun foam. And as I add the fun foam, I'm attaching the frames that are behind the photos together. I like the way the frames are right now, so I'm trying to be really careful to preserve that arrangement and layer the photos that have some adhesive on them over the frames that are underneath them. At this point, I'm attaching all of the frames together, but not to the background yet. I want to have one big unit, and if I want to move it around, I would be able to. And these photos were taken on a beach in Cape Cod that's called First Encounter Beach. My family loves to go to Cape Cod. We've been going there for years, and I hope to go back there again very soon. Now that I have the cluster of frames all done, everything's all attached to each other, I can start adding some embellishments. On the upper right-hand side of the layout, you can see a blue leaf and a pink leaf. And I made some leaves, quite a few, in both of those colors, but I didn't end up using them. I thought that they would look really colorful and really pretty since there was so much pink and blue in this collection, but I was afraid that the layout would be a little too hard for the eye to read if there were frames and embellishments in all three colors. So I thought that it would be best if I just left the leaves green and then all the other elements on the page could be th those different colors. But I do still really like the idea of having pink and blue leaves. So hopefully I'll find a layout to include those on. I'm adding both chipboard pieces and die cuts to the layout. The sign that says Beach Bay Cabanas and the little phrase that says happy place that I just put down and also the anchor that's to the left of the center photo, those are all chipboard pieces. The shells are die cuts and to give some of them a little bit more dimension, I pop them up on some foam. The title that I'm using is from the die cut pack and I'm popping that up as well. That says living at the beach. And I add a little seagull to sit right on top of the title. That's a chipboard piece as well. Once all of those embellishments are attached down, I start adding the coral and the leaves. And I just love this part of the process. I love the way when I start adding the florals, and in this case, the coral, the layout starts to look like it's on the road to being finished. And I find that to be kind of exciting. And I just feel that this is a finishing touch and it just brings the whole layout to life to me. So this part is fun for me and I like to arrange and rearrange everything until I have it just the way uh, that I think it's gonna look best. I started with the coral and I put quite a few pieces of coral on the layout. It probably seems that I'm just randomly spreading them around, but I am keeping in mind not having too many of one color right near each other. So I tried to evenly distribute the green coral and the peach coral and the blue coral. I started to add the tropical leaves to the layout and then I noticed that there were two pieces of blue coral right next to each other on the bottom. So I, right there I switched the green and the blue coral so that the blue would be spread around the layout a little more evenly. And the tropical leaves are three different sizes and they all get tucked behind something on the layout. I had two of these very small pink roses and I thought that these would be a good addition. They're just the right size. So I mix those in with the embellishments. And then I'm adding in some salmon embellishments. I'm adding in mainly shells. And just like the embellishments of other colors on the layout, I'm trying to spread those coral seashells out so that they'll be balanced. I wanted to add something in the top right hand corner and there were a number of small banners and I decided on this one that says, this is paradise. I pop that up on some fun foam. I attach that down at the top and then I layer a small seashell on top of it. And then I realized when I went to place it down that I was going to have to put some foam on the right hand side of it so that it would sit properly on the page and it wouldn't be on a slant because the banner is popped up on some foam. I took out some Bow Bunny glitter paste and the color of that is sugar. It's just a clear glitter paste and it adds a nice shine and a little bit of glitter to whatever you spread it on. So my thought was to put it on all of the coral on the layout. 
and I've been using this Bow Bunny glitter paste quite a bit lately. I love the way it looks and I love the way it dries super fast. It's really not slow drying like some of the other pastes that I've used in the past. So I am really happy with it and I'm continuing to use it. I add a small die cut flower to the sign that's over the center photo. And now I'm using some gel glue and I'm going to go around the layout and attach everything down that isn't already attached down. And then I was thinking that I wanted to add some white splatters to the background. So I covered up my photos and I took out my bottle of watered down white acrylic paint and I splatter it all around the layout, mainly on that big center cluster, but I do get some on the background as well. I think that black splatters make a huge impact and white splatters make less of an impact, but it just adds a finishing touch, one of several finishing touches, I guess. And it takes a little bit of time for white acrylic paint to dry, so I try to give it a good amount of time before I go back in the layout and do anything else. I attach a die cut bow on top of that center photo. And now I'm going back in with the Bow Bunny glitter paste and I'm applying it to those two paper flowers. And I really don't worry about whether or not I apply the glitter paste perfectly. Sometimes I get a little on the background, sometimes I don't cover the whole surface of something, but I don't think it's noticeable. I think you just see the sparkle and the shininess in the general area where you apply it. And sometimes I'll go back and apply a second coat, but in this case, I just applied one coat. Another finishing touch that I like to apply is pearls. I usually use no hole pearls, but I've been starting to use some pearls that do have holes in them, but these are the ones that don't have holes. And I'm applying them in quite a number of sizes and different colors. In general, the biggest ones are the pink ones, the medium ones are the blue ones, and the green ones are the smaller ones, but I do use a few pink pearls that are the same size as the green pearls. And then I also am going to add some very, very small pearls in white and a lighter pink. And I've been starting to use those very, very small round pearls on a lot of my layouts. So I think I better put in another order because I don't really have too many of those. And I find that I really like adding them around leaves and branches a lot and mixing them in with the branches. With the big pearls, I can place them down and glue them down later on when I'm sure I like where they are on the layout. But with the very small pearls, I like to glue them down right away so I don't forget. And I don't show all the footage of me adding the pearls because it went on for a very long time, but I did add some pearls to the banner at the top to tie together the big cluster and that small banner. And that completes this layout. Here are some close-ups. Thank you so much for watching my video, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed it and got some ideas. If you did, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. Every month, my creative scrapbook has a beautiful limited edition kit and several other kits that are available. If you take a look in the description box, you'll find a link to my creative scrapbook and you could check out everything that they have available this month. I hope that everybody has a fantastic day and I will see you all again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.